Hi, I'm Eloise with today's news. Israel's parliament has voted in a new coalition government, ending Benjamin Netanyahu's 12-year leadership. Naftali Bennett has been sworn in as Prime Minister. In September 2023, he'll hand power over to Yair Lapid for a further two years. There's been many topics of discussion at the G7 summit, including planning to stop any future pandemics and cutting the time needed to develop and license new vaccines. Climate change has also been heavily discussed. Joe Biden put forward the US-backed Build Back Better World Plan to assist lower and middle income countries to build better infrastructure. On the sidelines of the event, Scott Morrison, Joe Biden and Boris Johnson held talks and discussed security issues. Meantime, a spokesman for the Chinese embassy in London has said the days when global decisions were dictated by a small group of countries are long gone. In an interview, Russian President Vladimir Putin says he hopes US President Joe Biden will be less impulsive than Donald Trump was. The two leaders will soon meet in Geneva. In Queensland, a second body has been found following a house fire northwest of Brisbane. Police in Sydney are appealing for help to find a 12-year-old girl missing from the inner west for four days. Giovanni is of Pacific Islander appearance with brown eyes and long brown hair. And many flood-affected Victorians are still without electricity. There are flood warnings in place for the La Trobe River and the Thompson River. There's been two new local coronavirus cases recorded for the state. See you next time with more from The Informer.